All right, so you end up making a bad judgment call and you drive home drunk and unfortunately you land yourself your first ever DUI charge. So now you're here in court and you're wondering how long will this DUI be on my record? So I am criminal defense attorney Hannah Kentoye, and usually when dealing with DUI charges and assessing how long it will be on your record, there are two things to keep in mind and two things to consider. The first is what is the outcome of the DUI case? And then the second is what are the expungement laws in the state where you picked up the DUI charge? So when we're thinking about outcomes to DUI cases, there are usually three different outcomes that will likely apply. The first is a conviction, right? You either plead guilty or you're found guilty of the DUI charge. The second is uh, you have the case completely dismissed or the charges have been withdrawn. And the third outcome is you have some type of diversionary program where you essentially do some type of classes or some other uh, requirement by the courts uh, for a dismissal. Now let's talk about those various outcomes and how long a DUI is expected to be on your record. So let's go back to convictions. If you have a DUI conviction on your record, meaning as I mentioned before, you either pled guilty or you were found guilty after a trial before a judge or a jury, then in most states, it is very unlikely that you will ever be able to expunge or seal that conviction, that DUI conviction from your record. Now, uh, there may be some exceptions to the law. For instance, here in Washington, DC, if you were uh, a certain age, usually 24 years of age or younger, there are other laws that will apply to you that will allow you to circumvent the current expungement laws to get that DUI off of your record. But again, every state has different laws and the majority of states, I can tell you, will not allow you to expunge or seal a DUI conviction. The second outcome that I mentioned is if the charges have been dismissed or if, for instance, the prosecutor withdrew the charges. In that situation, it's more likely than not that you will be able to expunge or seal uh, those charges from your criminal record or your arrest record. Now, the laws in every state vary on how long you have to wait to either expunge or seal uh, those charges. Uh, in some instances and in some states, they have automatic expungement laws, meaning that if a charge is dismissed or if a charge is uh, withdrawn, right, uh, then what will happen is that the courts or the, uh, the justice system, the criminal justice system in that particular state will automatically go through a process where they seal or they expunge those charges from your record. But in other states, you will have to proactively uh, file a motion or make an application to the court to show the court why you should have your charge uh, expunged or sealed. And there's also a third outcome to sealing or expunging uh, charges that have been dismissed. In some states, maybe you don't have to wait. Maybe you can go ahead and immediately expunge. And that usually oftentimes happens in situations where uh, you can prove your innocence. In some states, you don't have to prove your innocence in other states in order to immediately expunge or immediately seal those charges you may have to prove your innocence so it's really important to check the laws in the state that you are in to see what is required to get those charges off of your record now the third outcome that I mentioned is some type of diversionary program. This is usually when they may have you do some DUI or drug and alcohol related classes in order to get a dismissal of the charge. Or maybe they may put you on a brief probationary period to make sure that you stay out of trouble uh, before they dismiss the charge. But usually with these diversionary programs, the goal and the outcome is to get some type of dismissal. Now. Uh, with the diversionary programs, they can vary. Uh, some of them may just have you do classes or community service and then you just immediately get the dismissal. But in other situations, you may have to first plead guilty, be on some type of probationary period to do your classes and to be supervised before you can come back, withdraw your guilty plea and then get a dismissal in the case. I know that sounds confusing, but um, sometimes the reason why the courts or the prosecutors offer it that second type of way where you have to 
to first plead guilty before you can get a dismissal is because uh, if you don't do the classes, then what they do, unfortunately, is immediately proceed to sentencing and you essentially, you're giving up your trial rights. So before you enter into any type of diversionary program, it's really important that you talk to an attorney first to see what your options are and most importantly, to see how it will affect you, uh, your record and uh, your your job and your well-being, right? Because it wouldn't make sense for you to get a diversionary program after all of that, that um, unfortunately you still can't get that uh, charge sealed or dismissed, or maybe there could be some type of other immigration consequence that could affect you. So it varies by state how long a DUI charge uh, will be on your record, but ultimately the determining factor is going to be what kind of outcome you get in your case. You absolutely want to stay away from getting a DUI conviction or pleading guilty. But at the same time, if you are looking at mandatory jail time, or if you are looking at a severe penalty uh, by going to trial or taking your chances at trial, then your attorney will likely talk to you about uh, the options of pleading guilty. But as always, uh, before you make any, any decision to take a guilty plea, be sure that you are well informed of all of your options and you also know how it will affect you in the future. So I hope that this information is helpful to you. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach me here and comment below, or you can reach me directly on my website, mydclaw.com, and I'd be happy to chat with you further. Take care and stay safe.